the UA booth with Lev, who's going to tell us about Apollo. Now, I've had a bit of a sneak preview of this, I must confess, but to anyone out there, you look at this initially, and it looks like an audio interface, but there's a lot more to it, isn't there? There really is. I mean, we start with the, with the great sound quality of the product, uh, premium conversion, premium mic preamps, built-in monitoring, great headphone amps. Uh, the special sauce really is the real-time U80 processing, and what it is is our entire library of U82 powered plugins running live on input with sub two milliseconds. So if you want to track with a Neve, a Studer, a Manly, any of our plugins, you can run live on input to the DAW. A nice feature as well is that you don't have to commit the plugins if you don't want to. You can just monitor with the low latency plugins to get the feel and vibe of analog. Um, on top of that, Firewire 800 is standard, but there's a Thunderbolt option card. You slot into the back, and it's the first uh, Thunderbolt op, uh, audio interface available on the market. Uh, as an added bonus, there's two ports on that Thunderbolt option card. You can daisy chain to other devices, uh, and the, the Firewire 800 ports can actually be used as a hub. So you can connect to Firewire hard drives, you can connect it to a U82 satellite via Firewire, and it all works over the Thunderbolt cable, which is really exciting. The back panel has got lots of I.O. It's got the four mic preamps, uh, a total of eight line inputs, eight line outputs. The stereo uh, monitor outputs are digitally controlled analog. You control it from the front panel. Uh, because it's digitally controlled, you actually get access to the monitor control from your DAW or from the included console application. Uh, the mic preamps are beautiful mic preamps, digitally controlled as well. A full control surface for the front panel preamps, so you don't have to go to software to turn on phantom power or to adjust any of the mic preamp settings. You get it all from the front panel, all from our plug-in or all from our console application. So beautifully integrated. You can even control the entire front panel from a control surface. So for you control surface users out there, you focus our little plug-in on your controller and you've got a monitor controller and a preamp controller right there. It's very beautiful. The units will be shipping in two different configurations. There's a duo and a quad version. They have the same I.O., the same Thunderbolt option card. They're only differentiated by their DSP. So the duo version has two Shark DSPs and is going to street for $19.99 U.S. Uh, the quad version has four Shark DSPs and will street for $24.99 U.S. and they'll be available in March. Now the console part of this is, is a fairly serious part of the deal, isn't it? It really is. You know, we really looked at the market, what people were doing with, you know, mixing consoles for audio interfaces and we decided that we could do a better job of making something that was something you actually wanted to use. And what we did was we emulated a very simple tracking console. So every single input of the box is represented as a channel strip. There you can insert your real-time U80 processors, again, the full library, and anything that comes out in the future will work on Apollo live on input. And it's just a really simple way to set up some auxes for reverb, set up direct cue mixes to the headphone outputs, one and two. Again, discrete mixes can be made very easily. Um, and again, you don't have to think about how is this input getting to the DAW. All of the DAW inputs are automatically split, and you just have the tracking console and the input going right over Core Audio or ASIO. So it's a very intuitive workflow. One of the nice little fun features that we have is if you've got the console app in front of, say, Pro Tools or Logic or whatever your DAW might be, you can hit the space bar, it went in the console app, and it'll send that command over to your DAW. So you don't have to think about what app am I in. I should flip over to Pro Tools so I can hear my, my pre-existing tracks and flip back to the console so I can track. It's very fluid. It almost feels like a plugin. Speaking of plugins, we actually developed a really great control plugin called the Recall plugin. You put it inside your DAW. It's AU, VST, or RTAS. You hit this little synchronize button. When you hit save in your DAW, it will actually capture all of the settings of the console and give you total recall of the input stage. So the mic preamp settings, the plugins, their settings, the sends, the routing, the headphone cue mixes, all is instantly recalled. So again, we really feel like we did an amazing job of making it feel like a mixing console and less like an audio interface with a, you know, a router application. It's a really great experience. It sounds great, so I can't wait to do the review. Right on. We'll get you one very soon. Thank you very much.